You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming live around the world at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I am beyond excited to have Wand live in studio today. Corey and Evan, we've had you in studio before, but this is the first time we're telling the story of Wand live on the air. And uh, you've got three records that you're going to try to tell that story through. What are you starting us off with today? Uh, we're going to start off with Fire on the Mountain from the first record, which is appropriate because... We'll start at the beginning. All right. It's Wand live on KEXP.
Yowza! <laughs> that is Wand live on KEXP, one of my top picks for this year's Capitol Hill Block Party. They play here in Seattle on Saturday. I want the Block Party at the Vera stage. And thank you guys so much for coming in today. It's such a pleasure to Thanks have you. Thanks for having us. When you start playing, I never want you to stop. <laughs> and thank you. We've been long, long time fans of WAND, and by long time, I mean like a couple of years. I know the band only started in 2013, and I discovered you with the release of Ganglion Reef, which came out in 2014, and you have three albums out in less than two years, two records just last year. You work at such a breakneck speed, but it seems to be no lack of ideas. And I'm just wondering, what's it like in the studio? It seems like you're on this just constant cycle of write, record, tour, write, record, tour. It's, it's pretty consistent. Up until recently, it was really consistent. Uh, we were writing, recording, touring <laughs> in, a, in a cycle. And at the end of each cycle, a record would be done or a tour would be done or something. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it was really easy to work at that like pace because it wasn't I don't know it was just very like you just clearly have a ton of creative ideas but I've also heard you say in interviews that it's really just out of necessity because you know you want to make a living at music and it's tough if you're waiting a couple years between albums as many bands do on those kind of release cycles that they have you make a record and then a year later <laughs> it comes out yeah it sucks to wait it kind of makes it tough, too, mm -hmm. to make a living. I know that um, you met in art school at Cal Arts, and you have a lot of cr other creative outlets. I've seen um, some of you playing in many other bands, too many to name here. As I said earlier, a couple of you are in the Ty Siegel's The Muggers, which was our first band live on air. But I've seen you play with Michael Cronin and used to do some stuff with the Meat Bodies. <laughs> and I am curious. Um, if you have other outside interests, I, I know, Evan, you have a book of poetry that you've published. And with so much mm. st stuff going on, do you <laughs> find time to do other things? You know, that, the outlets that you can, you know, look at creatively? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think I, I don't, I, I, that's hard to say. I haven't really, I used to paint and uh, draw and do sculpture, and I mean, I went to school for art, and we half of the band went to school for went to school for art, and uh, it's definitely harder to find time to do that stuff seriously. I've taken up um, photography recently, <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah, I mean, it's all kind of just cycling around this this tornado of an occupation. It doesn't sound like you have a lot of time, although when I asked you about that, you said, until recently, what's going on now that makes you say you're not on such a crazy s cycle? Well, we took a little bit of time off to, to work on other projects and, and do some things that maybe Juan can't support like totally, and, except by just having everyone do their own thing. And then Evan and I were touring the last six months with Ty. And yeah, and now, and I think that having a little bit of breathing room was really beneficial for us. We got some new members. Yeah, would you introduce the band? Yeah, well, here's, this is Sophia. Welcome. Hello. And this is Robbie. Hi there. <laughs> and then of course, Evan, the poet, drummer. <laughs> Is there a story there, or are you just some uh, good-natured ribbing there? Huh? Every time you call him a poet, oh, you I make mean, a funny look. <laughs> oh, no. It's just, it, it was just, I think it just maybe caught, caught him off guard that you Evan that the poet? a book of poetry, which is cool. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, and then uh, Lee playing the bass. That's Evan the poet, that has a nice ring to it, like Pliny the Elder. <laughs> and Corey the painter. Well, you definitely know what you're doing with these uh, instruments strapped on. We've got Wand live in studio today, and you got more music for us? Yes, we do. We could go on, we could go on forever. All right, I might just ask you to at the end. I might throw a curveball at you. All right.
We're live in the studios with Wand playing the Capitol Hill Block Party this Saturday. Okay, we have one more song. This is a song we just started playing, but it's off the first record. It's called Growing Up Boys. trance there. Wand is live in the KEXP studios playing at the Doug Fur this Friday night and back in Seattle for this year's Capitol Hill Block Party on Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always a pleasure. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle.
Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.